We're talking with Eric Gordon today, the director of the Engagement Game Lab at Emerson College. And his track for DML 2014 is entitled Playing for Keeps, Gameful Design for Real World Action and Social Change. So um, please tell us what's exciting to you about your, your track and uh, what you look, look forward to, to doing. I'm really excited to <clears throat> run this track at at, uh, at DML, largely because to bring together the the, the typical uh, attendees at DML are, that are, are teachers and educators and and thinkers in the space of digital media and learning um, around specifically the issue of of games and game gameful design in an out of classroom setting. So what I'm really interested in is how games and play are creating a context for interaction um, within a civic space um, where that can be that can be really powerful and that could actually change the way that that communities interact and change the way that governments respond to communities. One of the tensions that is present in in um, in this idea um, is the tension of play and the and what is typically associated with the work of civic life and civic engagement and political action. And what is what I what I really hope to explore in this track is where that tension, um, those places where that tension comes to life, where the where the, the the political action itself that's mediated through a game is is playful and even fun and 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 pleasurable. But that where that that institutions in some way or another have to be responsive. Um, to that act of play, and so in and when we think about games, we often think about play being being outside of everyday life, and this this idea of this magic circle being this sort of protected space where the implications of play are are, are um, contained within the within within the game environment itself. But I think what we're seeing in the way that that games are being designed and played in in situations that are um, beyond, say, a, a, a single screen or a, or, a, or a board, that we're actually seeing the, the implications of those play acts extending um, to, uh, you know, to, uh, as I said before, to communities and institutions beyond that. So I really want people to come together um, that can explore those tensions, explore the places for play um, in, uh, in uh, political life, um, and and to push this beyond where where it's been, so beyond the the game in the classroom, uh, beyond the gamification of of political life, but really towards that that um, that moment of transforming um, the, the those those everyday actions of political life and civic life into playful actions that I think can be far more powerful and far more effective um, than the way that we typically think about them. Do you foresee ways in which the participants in your your panel can can take your ideas and and begin to implement them in their communities? Sure. I, I mean, I think a lot of these. I, I think a lot of this is already happening. So what I'm what I'm hoping to to have happen is that we can we can just label things that are already clearly within the within the realm of play. Um, maybe not maybe not defined in a in in the in the form of a game, but clearly within the realm of play, how these things are already happening we can we can understand them and we can label them and we can understand the political work that they're doing, which is again moving uh, moving uh, moving play away um, from from simply fun and games and and towards something that's that's quite serious. Um, what I find in the in the work that I do is that that there's that there's that tension that um, that comes from not only players but people who are who are potentially responsive to that play um, that disregards those act of play because they're because they're not serious uh, and and what what I'm what I'm hoping that this does is that pu pushes that to the next next level and so to answer your question yes I mean I think people can it's not my ideas but the ideas that are already out there that are already being deployed. Um, within with with young people and beyond, um, and if we can label them and sort of take those out again, um, I think we can. Uh, I think that people can be very active with what happens um, with what they learn from this particular track. Do you have a quick example 
make this concrete in, in people's minds? Well, sure. I, so the the example would be uh, in my own work. We we uh, we make in my lab. We make uh, uh, games that that facilitate deliberation within an urban planning process. So when people play that game, they're actually contributing to a larger process and taking those play actions out and advocating for their positions and and trying to make a difference within their local communities. Um, but even beyond games, of course, we can see you know con uh, um, examples like. The Harry Potter Alliance, where 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 civic acts are framed in a playful way, uh, not, not certainly not in a game, um, but in a playful way that that can redefine the the that that uh, the individual action itself as being something that that um, um, that is more imaginative and exploratory than than to say the work of civic of civic life. So I see games as sort of intersecting within that that realm of you know. Uh, just playful experiences that translate to that translate to direct action, whether it's designed within a game or whether it were, whether that play happens outside of a game. Fantastic! Sounds like a, a a session that could have some real impact. Thank you, Eric. You're welcome. Thank you.